Hello everyone, this is Miss Tired Bunny. Yep, back again, finally, doing a proper, actually, face-on-camera video. You'll have to excuse the hair, it's... I, I was feeling a bit lazy today, I thought I've been working silly hours at work, couldn't be naff to do my hair, basically. But today I am doing the goth mum tag, because I thought, why not, just come back and start doing tag videos again, because I just enjoy doing them. But anyway, I'm going to get on with the questions. The questions, if I remember, I will pop in the description somewhere at some point. So, Anyway, first question. Do you force your children to wear black? In a word, no. I just let Litlin wear whatever he wants, to be honest. You know, like, he can just... Well, he normally he does anyway. He just likes to sit around in his boxer shorts half the time. He's a weirdo, but... No, I just let him wear what pretty much. Well, he wears what he wants within reason. So, right. Question two: Do you do you force your children to listen to metal, rock and roll, etc.? Uh, again, no. I think it's more of a. Again, we let him sort of like like find his own way when it comes to music. Although, thanks to his mother, he is into Ramstein now. <laughs> But I think it's more of a we encourage him to explore and listen to whatever music takes his fancy, really. What are your favourite alternative clothing brands for children? Uh, I don't think I really have one that sort of like is specifically aimed at children, per se. You know, yeah, there might be some shops out there that maybe do things now and again that might be classed as being a little bit alternative and if I if I happen to see it and like it and it's in Litland size I might pick it up for like the giggles but I think there's not like a specific one I think oh you know I must go out of my way to buy it kind of thing but if there's any out there that anyone can recommend you know go for it right number four do you want any more baby bats that is something that me and the fiance have talked about so it may may happen in the future it may not i think it's going to be more of a see how it goes right number six um, number six number five have you or your children ever experienced negativity due to the way you, you dress i think once upon a time i used to get a bit of negativity towards the way that i dress i mean i know i know i don't look very alternative at the minute but you know, I sort of like, I do, as it were. I think it's just more of a, I sort of like kind of calm it down for work a bit, if that makes sense. But I think these days, now that I'm older and I tend, tend to be more like, I don't care sort of thing. I just, you know, I don't, okay, I might get the occasional comment here and there, but no, I think no one really cares anymore, takes any notice. And if Litlin ever gets anyone act negatively towards him for anything he normally just politely tells him to go poke it pretty much so right number six do you hope your children will follow in your stylistic footsteps when they come of age i'd like to think that when litland's older that he feels comfortable enough to you know like explore and experiment with his clothing style and hair and stuff like that so it's more of a if he wants to pretty much i hope he feels comfortable enough that he can you know if he fancy dressing like goth or whatever or even if he wanted to like cross dress or something you know it's like you know whatever he felt comfortable with really you know number seven do you think it is important to be a positive role model for all children oh god yes definitely you know i think it's important i think these days where there's so many sort of like so-called role models out there that are so just trashy and horrible you just think you know you know it'd be nice for children to have more positive wholesome role models than basically having these types that are literally famous for the sake of being famous and their behavior might not be so nice as it were as <laughs> me trying to keep very diplomatic here without slagging people off all right question eight Oh, sorry. Where? What do your What do your children think about the way you you dress? I think, to be honest, Litman isn't that bothered. I think he's just like, eh, you know. 
Yeah, he's, I think he's just like very chill about that kind of thing. You know, he's not the kind of kid who finds it in like embarrassing or anything. I just think he's just very blase, just like yeah, do what you like, sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine. Have your children ever felt or? Oh, sorry, I can't even read it. My I'm being. Have your children ever felt or do you ever feel like you embarrass your children? Sorry, my my brain just went eh. Couldn't read the question there. So yeah. Have you, your children ever felt or do you feel like you ever embarrass your children? I think that's more his mother's side of thing. I think sometimes she'll deliberately embarrass him when like, she takes him to school and she'll like start singing and dancing down the road and he'll be like, Mum, shut up. <laughs> Being a den sort of thing. <laughs> but I think it's more of a... With me personally, I don't think Litlin ever feels like that around me or I feel like I do that to him kind of thing I think it's more it's more his mother's thing because she's like I'm his biological parent I'm allowed sort of thing I'm allowed to show him up kind of thing right final question number 10 as a goth mother in the subculture community can you offer any advice to other mothers out there I think it's just more go with what you feel is right really I mean unfortunately you know, in society today, we're still going to get people who are going to act dinny towards us because, like, we're goth or we're gay or we're this or that or whatever. So, but I think as long as you've got like a good network of friends, family, or or whoever around you, I think to be honest, it's more of a stick with the people you know who support you. Go with what you feel is right, and it's just like naff it to everybody else really so so just like you're doing a great job keep doing just keep doing you you know i'm sure your kids will turn out just fine so anthony totally did honest <laughs> he's completely normal so but anyway thank you for watching and i will see you all soon